Hello, cat people! Welcome to today's video! Today, my zodiac is deciding about my makeup, and here is the result! Guys, today I'm super excited with the concept. Actually, let me start by applying my base Urban Decay and Primer Potion and while I'm doing this, I'm gonna explain you everything you need to know. To begin with, I don't believe in Zodiacs as a person. I have told you many times in this channel, if you're new, first of all, welcome! I hope that you will subscribe and you don't need to know a lot about me, just know this, I don't really believe in Zodiacs, but if you do, it's absolutely fine, it's just not for me. Anyway, I found some very, very beautiful inspo pictures on Instagram and I saw the Nitzlava's video. Actually, the idea is from her. I will leave her channel down below, so don't forget to go check her and subscribe to her. She is amazing. She is a bomb of positive energy. I love her videos. Anyway, so she did this video with her zodiac and i start looking about inspo pictures on the internet about my zodiac and what are the possibilities you know and i found so interesting and nice looks and i'm like oh, i think i need to do it and actually the color schemes i saw were color schemes that i haven't thought by myself so this is something even more great because i feel with this kind of concepts all the inspo and everything kind of pushes me to be out of my comfort zone and i really love it because i don't want to do again and again the same thing so if you're ready for today's makeup let's start all right before i do anything i would like to show you the inspo picture that i have i think that it's gonna be too small so please editor pop a bigger one here great i'm gonna explain you here i see a matte black outer corner and then I see some shimmery teal and yellow colors so this is what I will try to reproduce I don't see any eyeliner but I see a kind of like silver-ish inner corner I think that this look is very interesting I have never done anything similar anyway for black today i'm gonna go to my spooked palette this is from gourmand girls in collaboration with doodles by the bunny and i'm gonna take this one right here this is called spooky and it's a very very nice quality black i really trust this color now i have to do the difficult task to find a clean brush because yesterday i was doing a makeup and i didn't wash my brushes <laughs> so today i don't have a lot of choices i'm gonna go with this one this is from BH Cosmetics number 4. I don't want a very fluffy brush because I really don't want the black to take over. I just want to have a little bit of black. So let's see. I'm gonna start from here and I'm gonna try to create a small circle-ish shape. Okay, I think this is quite good. Of course, I'm gonna diffuse the black into other colors to create the same effect that I saw in the picture. All right. This is gonna be good! And that's the black, quite blended. Not perfectly blended because I'm planning to go back and blend it a little bit more to perfect it. But now I think it's time to go to the next color. I have seen two colors, kind of like a matte teal and a shimmery teal. So for the matte, I'm gonna go to the palette which is called Haunted Pumpkin. This is from Give Me Glow. And from this palette, it's amazing first of all i've never tried this palette this is gonna be the first time it's not gonna be a review video this one but i like to have a first impression before i do my review this was relevant anyway let's go to the palette i'm gonna take this eyeshadow which is called rotten it has this amazing imprint with the pumpkin i love it i'm gonna take a quite fluffy brush like this one right here this is from lh cosmetics they are 304 i'm gonna dive in and I'm gonna apply it exactly where the black ends well let's see how it will perform I'm very curious to see Ooh, that's so pretty and they are so beautiful together this color and the black oh my god I love them what do you think do you like them as color combo 
it's time to start working with shimmers well the first one that i noticed at the look was a teal-ish shimmer so i'm gonna take the surge palette from blend bunny cosmetics and here it exists this little miracle it is called underneath and it's a stunning shimmer i'm gonna take this brush from morphe it's the m124 i have already primed my eyelids with carla cosmetics and fix potion this one right here I'm gonna dive into the color and let the magic happen! By the way, have you noticed a little detail in today's video? I'm wearing this kind of shirt which says Gemini! <laughs> I'm full in topic! Anyway, now it's time to use some yellow. So I'm gonna take a brush from Beaumont and this palette, which is a collaboration between Beauty Bay and Ayoko Ali. It is called My Freaky Diary. Ne bleu secret. My god, my French is awful. Anyway, let's not consider about this and let's focus on the color. This is a very, very unique greenish shimmery yellow. It is called Shark Candy and I'm gonna spray my brush to be honest, although that I have already applied the Fix Potion because I want it to perform to the max and I really love this color. Although that I haven't kind of officially reviewed this palette, I have used this specific colors a lot of times because I saw it I'm like I need to know how you look like and I did it and it's awesome it's wonderful so so beautiful oh my god look how beautifully it blends with the blend bunny eyeshadow which was called underneath am I right I hope I'm right but it's amazing and to be honest I wouldn't have come with this color combination just by myself so this video was a perfect opportunity for me to use these colors together and create this dark but colorful eye look did you like it tell me your opinion down in the comments and if you happen to be gemini could you think that this is a representative look for you because for me as i told you it's not but i love it so so much I saw some very sparkly shimmer in the inner corner and I thought that this is job for LH Cosmetics palette Shimmer Saga, the best shimmers I've ever tried. They are not opaque, but for looks like this, they are working just perfect. So I'm gonna go the one which is called Success. All of them are very shifty, almost duochrome, I would say. This one is from white to golden and I think that this will match extremely good with the yellow that I have applied. I'm gonna spray my brush. By the way, this brush is from Beauty Bay. It does not have a name, but I think it's discontinued nowadays, so it's fine. And let's see if I have done the correct choice. <gasps> look at it it's awesome oh my god i'm in love with this look i don't know why i haven't tried this look before wow wow it's so pretty oh my god oh my god should i apply some shimmer here under my eyebrow well i don't know because I see no shimmer at the reference picture but also i have decided to kind of do my own things in this makeup but I don't know. What do you think? Should I? Just a little bit, okay? Just a little bit. Don't say that I'm cheating, please. Don't say it down in the comments. Don't do that. Please, please, please. Yes. Yeah. Now, I think it's perfect. I think that this tiny, tiny bit of shimmer actually elevated this look by a lot. Nice. What do you think? Now let's move on to the bottom part of the eye. So I'm gonna go again to the Haunted Pumpkin palette. And from this palette, again, I'm gonna take the shade Rotten with a very small, almost pencil brush, I would say, to kind of continue where I left the black. Just a continuation to what we see at the top part of the eye. Yeah, very beautiful. No shimmer here though. I mean, I will just use this uh, yellow shimmer, not anything in the teal side. The teal is gonna be absolutely, completely matte. And then I will turn off the camera. I will fix my lashes. I have seen that she is not having false lashes. So I will try to apply something very 
pointy because I don't think that this look is gonna be as good without lashes and I think that false lashes will actually make this look even better so I decided to go with very small, small, small just to have something and then I will fix my base and I will come back to do my lips according to my zodiac and now it's time for the Greek word of the day well today's makeup is based on my zodiac that's why I'm gonna tell you the Greek word for zodiac so in Greek we say Zodio. Say with me. Zo, ri, o. Zodio. As always, I'm gonna ask you to try to write a comment down below, either using the word Zodio in Greek, or actually tell me what's your zodiac. It's gonna be fun to know. Well, and now it's time to do my lips according to my zodiac. Let me find the amazing picture that I have seen with a lot of holographic glitter and this picture could not describe me better. Look at it! Look at it! It's just awesome! And of course it happens that I have this glitter. It is the Hello Hollow from Gloss Gods. Gloss Gods is a Swedish indie brand and actually I'm planning to apply a black base, like a black liquid lipstick. I'm gonna apply the only black liquid lipstick that I have in my collection. This is from Lovelace Cosmetics in the shade 29. I think the name is Raven. I'm not sure. It doesn't say on the carton box. But before this, I'm gonna start with a pencil. This is from Aiden. So the idea here is to have a very good base and then on top to go with the glitter. I have no idea how this this whole thing will turn out but I think it's gonna be fun and it contains glitter so what else can I ask for okay I'm stop talking right now wish me luck and let's do it oh my god guys I feel so pretty with the hollow lips what do you think do you like them I think as an idea they are perfect perfect I am in love with this makeup look as it is i mean the eyes with the lips are matching so so well and basically i would like to do a part two like my zodiac chooses my makeup or something like that so please if you're interested write down in the comments send me pictures on instagram like inspiration pictures or zodiac related pictures that can be makeup looks or something like that i would need your help in this and that was it this was our video for today i hope you enjoyed today's makeup and if yes don't forget to subscribe don't forget to follow me on instagram and on tiktok everywhere my name is cat lady and Digoni, and i will be very very happy to see you there guys thank you so so much for being here with me today i appreciate you a lot a lot a lot a lot see you next time with a more chatty video and until then bye bye